Hi, Al. Welcome to our channel. So this is very important option will be any particular website. It is hosting on hosting hosting. How to be selecting for backup? First of all, I have to discuss one of the websites called EmpowerITTraining.com. This website providing for SAP training. The training server will be providing for SAP Success Factor and SAP HR, HCM, Human Resource Management. And they're providing for uh, SAP Success Factor Employee Central trainings. They're all providing for this kind of trainings. Anybody looking for particular training, you can go through this website to contact on the particular SAP, this kind of course purpose. In particular website, hosting girl. When you come into the hosting girl, this will be kind of hosting company, hosting girl dot in. US is a dot com, India will be dot in. In this website, first of all, login important. Login by using Facebook or Google or any emails will be acceptance. Maybe you are into Facebook, log in with Facebook itself. But one drawback is there. If any issues, your Facebook or anything will be suspended or blocked. They're affected by your login. So don't go with this option. By Google, by logging with the Yahoo, any email will be accepted. That will be choose your particular plan. After login, the visible will be like this. In this particular website, how to take the backup? Click for file manager. This is a total web file is on your particular website. In this particular website, any kind of things. Previous, we have to go for the cPanel option. Now we can go for the particular option name is called. That will be option name is called file manager. After login, the visible option name is called file manager option. But after this one, right click, we can see this archive where we can go for GIF file. So selecting for GIF file, zip, selecting will be zip format. The zip will be going to cross on your particular here. Is it taking time for less than minute, less than two minutes, less than five minutes, anything will be take. Right click, here option will be here. What option name is called? Click for download. So I am taking for this public here. So anything will be taking backup time. Any effect will happen. Nothing will be happen. So be careful here. One more option. Open this public underscore HTML. We can select this all files at a time and right click, click for archive also. We have two methods are will be available will be here. So right now I can go to home page. Here is there. The file is done. It is a file which is downloaded here. Wait for up to download. Once file is download, please remove this file. Why? Because this is only for I have to create by the file will be outside. But inside will be also same. Select here. What are the files you selected here? Everything will be in this. We can select it will be everything will be manual option. Everything was selected by here. One by one file also we can download option will be here. This will be download, this will be upload. Two options are will be useful. One is download, second will be upload the file. So it is going to process here. Anything will be home page option. After that, based on website, we have two options. One is called website option. Second will be database. There is a go to the database option. Into database right side, click for database. There is option here is called PHP My Admin. Enter PHP My Admin option. This will be database file. Any particular website, this is the database file. Any particular website you have take backup is the first priority. Any website. What are the website design? First to take the backup. That is a hosting website, any kind of cPanel. You have to take the backup is important. So select this backup, MySQL. Click simple export and click for go option. Total file is downloaded by the here itself. I have file will download will be two options. One is called total website backup and second will be our database file. 
So database file where is the using for? Your website will be in the admin panel. They use on particular option call is PHP. My admin will be useful. So any particular login required admin backend that is called MySQL database. So once it's done, the download area is done. Click for delete. So your trash bin is there. If you want to trash bin, go to trash bin, click for delete. They go to where? Into the trash bin. Is it clear? So that is file will move to the trash bin option. After we can go for refresh it. So this file will be into the trash bin option. So anything will affect it? Nothing. Any file you downloaded, what is the option name is called? File manager option in a particular each and every website. So follow this condition and download your particular website or PHP to any when a website. This is a procedure to using hostinger, hostinger websites. So follow this one. Any questions are about hostinger, please contact my channel and definitely will be support you. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe our channel.